Welcome back everyone and a uh, bit of a tutorial and guide today kind of maybe I don't know take it how you will but we've been talking a lot about the 6800 series over the past bit because they've launched and while stock is still somewhat difficult to get a hold of eventually that won't be the case and this may prove to be quite useful. Now one of the things that we've talked about the most when it comes to these newer graphics cards is the feature smart access memory or SAM for short. Not sure how we'll refer to it, but SAM, Smart Access Memory, it's the same thing. Uh, one of the quick things that a lot of people think is that it's simply just a resizable bar adjustment, but according to AMD, there's a bit more magic sauce that goes into it. So for the full Smart Access Memory support, you need a few things. You need a 68 or 6000, we'll say 6000 series cards because I have a feeling that other cards may support it in the future on the 6000 series lineup, so you know it's gonna go down. Anyway, you need a 6000 series GPU, you need a 500 series motherboard, so either an X570 or a B550, and a Ryzen 5000 series CPU. So any of the 5000 series, so 5600X up through the 5950X, all support it. But you gotta have a BIOS that has the ability to enable it. This is not a software feature, so you're not gonna install it, and you're not gonna automatically have it. So if you install a 6000 series card and you go, cool deal, I've got a Ryzen 5000 series chip and a 500 series board, I've got smart access memory, hold your horses, cause you may not. What you need to do is, well, actually, let me jump to other me. So send it over to Keith and he'll show you how to enable it, and then we'll get back and we'll talk about how to you know, check some stuff. Thanks Keith, this is Keith here and we are in the UEFI BIOS of the X570 Tough Gaming or Tough Gaming X570 Pro Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, a lot of names. Either way, this is your basic ASUS platform and it's very similar to others, but definitely check with your motherboard vendor, you know, that thing. So we're gonna hit F7 and it's gonna take us into advanced mode. And what we wanna do is Evidently my mouse is not working in here, so we're gonna have to do it by hand. You're gonna go over to the advanced tab. You're gonna go down to PCIe subsystem settings, hit enter. Right here is what you're looking for. You're looking for the above 4G decoding. It's not gonna be labeled smart access memory. So if you're looking for a smart access memory on and off toggle, you're not gonna find it. What you're gonna find is above 4G decoding. You're gonna hit enter and you're going to enable that and that's going to give you options for the resize bar support now that by default has enabled but there is enable and disable so you can enable above 4g decoding however you can still also disable resize bar support you want to make sure that's enabled once that's enabled you want to hit f10 or whatever button in your bios is a save and restart you can see here it changes the above 4g decoding from disabled to enabled and you hit enter. Back to you, Keith. All right, thank you, Keith. We're back over here in front of the graphics cards. That's awkward. That's how you enable smart access memory. There's no other toggles. There's nothing in software to tell you it's enabled. AMD might want to find a way to notify you in the driver stack that it's enabled or not, because some people, again, may be using it and, or maybe thinking they have it on and they don't. So that's the real reason why we made this video, because at the end of the day, AMD shows some fairly pr impressive performance uplifts whenever you enable smart access memory, and so did we. And you know, I'll link in a pinned comment below straight to our 6900 XT review where it has the 6800, 6800 XT, and the 6900 XT, and the differences at 1440, ultra wide, and 4K that enabling smart access memory makes. We kept those in their own grasp because very few people at this moment are gonna have access to smart access memory, and we wanted to be able to kind of let them see what they get without mixing it into the full blown numbers and causing a bit of confusion right now. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you got anything out of it, either today or in the future, let us know down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Like the video, subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next one. In fact, as I head out, what would you like to see in the next one? Love to hear what you guys have to say. Catch you then.